George Schultz. One stock you don't like over at Schultz Asset Management is Caesars Entertainment. You short this stock. There's a big legal fight going on over there. And although people say the house always wins, you think this stock is a loser. Tell me why. That's right. The interesting story behind Caesars Entertainment Group is that companies in the U.S., when they go bankrupt, shareholders of those companies almost never get any recovery at all. They either get completely wiped out or they get substantially diluted. This is a rare gem. It's in bankruptcy now. The stock price is over $9 a share. Eventually, it'll be wiped out, we think. The company was uh, one of the biggest uh, leveraged buyouts in the casino space, has over $31 billion in debt. It filed for bankruptcy in January of this year, and we think it's just a matter of time, but eventually shareholders will get heavily diluted in that case. In fact, the junior debt in this company, which is senior to the equity that we're shorting, uh, the junior debt trades at just pennies on the dollar, about 20 cents on the dollar right now. So we really like this as a short, and we think even though there's a high short ratio or short interest ratio outstanding, eventually shareholders will lose out. And you're also short Diana Shipping. Now, these shares are down around 50% over the past year. How much lower can they go? Diana Shipping is in a troubled industry. The whole shipping industry is suffering. It's really underwater, as they say. Uh, the, what happened with shipping is that there was a massive uh, building boom a couple of years ago. And now we're paying the consequences, paying the price for that building and that overextending. Uh, what you have in the shipping space is just far too many ships, and that's caused rates to go down. The, the, dry, uh, uh, the Baltic Dry Index, which is the main rate, the main shipping rate that uh, uh, shippers price their, their services off of, is down tremendously. It's, it's at a 30-year low, and it's likely to stay there because there are just too many ships. And Diana, unfortunately, will suffer from that as well. And then finally, another stock that you're short. Actually, it's an ETN. It's the IPATH S&P 500 VIX Futures ETN. Now the VIX, or the so-called fear index, it spiked earlier this year above 20, but lately it's just been hanging around 13, 12. Tell me why you dislike this ETN. Well, the problem with this ETN, it's not so much the underlying index, but the problem is really uh, what the ETN itself does. This ETN is a bond. It's not a stock. And it doesn't match the underlying performance of the volatility index so well. It's a short-term uh, uh, ETN. So what that means is that it suffers from a condition called contango. That means every four to six weeks, the company, the underlying issuer, has to uh, roll forward the futures that it owns. And as a result, during a normal contango market, whether or not there's volatility in the market, but during a normal contango market, there'll be time to get decay in that security every month. And it's, it's worked phenomenally. I expect it to continue working phenomenally over time. All right. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching The Street.